Yo guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to play OVO multiplayer, basically as many OVO clients as you want connected in real time so you can like play with your friends in the game. Uh, it's really cool and it's mod been developed like a couple months ago I think, but yeah it's probably the coolest mod out there as of late and um, yeah I'll show you how to install it. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is get access to the mod file itself. So in the OVO Discord, you're going to want to go to this Mod Resources channel and scroll all the way up to the OVO Multiplayer mod. And the reason you find it this way is so that you can get the latest version of it if there's any updates. However, I will have a version of the file linked in the description if you don't have Discord. So just go ahead and click this little thing here to download the mod. Um, it should open up in your Chrome and it says, uh, it will harm your computer. It won't harm computer, don't worry, just click keep. Now you have the mod here. So once you have the mod file, you're going to want to go to the OVO game itself, and there are three versions of the OVO game that will work with the mod, and that is Crash Test 1.4.4 and Crash Test Level Editor. Um, any of these will work, I'm just going to use 1.4.4, uh, I'll have a link for this in the description. And so once you're here, you're going to want to go into the game, and then press Control shift i on your keyboard, and what this will do is open up the inspector window. Now, you'll see a lot of weird stuff here, but you can just ignore all of it. All that you're concerned about is the console. Make sure you have the console tab selected, and you should see this little like blue carrot here, and then this blinking thing that means you can type, but you're not actually going to type anything. You're going to take the OVO multiplayer mod that you just downloaded from the Discord or the link in the description. I'm going to hold click and drag it onto where the, car the carrot is here. And this should paste a fat block of text into your console. Um, don't do anything to it, just press enter on your keyboard and it should say mod loaded, multiplayer mod loaded. And that's how you know that you have successfully installed the multiplayer mod. Alternatively, you can also go into your files where you just downloaded it and then uh, drag from there as well. Alright, so now you can go ahead and close the inspector window here because you won't need it anymore. But this next step, you're going to need to have friends, so kind of impossible for some of you. Anyways, in this hypothetical situation, you do have friends which you can play multiplayer with. So you're going to click up on this little icon here and it says please enter a username. Just enter your any username you want. And now you should see this heads up display here, and you're going to want to click create room. Now this will create your multiplayer room, and it should say room created, and now what you need is the room code. So you're going to go ahead and click this thing that says copy room code, and what this will do is copy to your clipboard the code to your room. Then you're going to go um, on your email or whatever, and you're going to go and send this code to your friend or friends, whatever, and they are going to open up their OVO tab, they are going to repeat the process of opening the inspector, putting the mod in, enter, install, this, the username, and then they, your friends, are going to click join room, and then they are going to get the code that you sent them, paste it in where it says here, press OK, and boom should have connected to the room. Now you can see both OVO tabs, we put them side by side here. Um, yeah, it's working. It's real time. You can move around, you can go and uh, navigate between levels. There's a little chat here where you can uh, talk to your friends if you want. Uh, and what you can also do is like have as many of these tabs as you want. Let's open up another one here. You can theoretically have an infinite number of rooms connected, and they'll all be all nice and synced and working. Uh, however, it will depend on how good your internet is, notably the host's internet, because whoever's hosting the room should have good internet, as you can see here. You can already see <laughs> the lag starting to ensue. Um, there's a significant amount of delay between the, the OVOs here, but um, hopefully if you have good internet, unlike me, 
actually get them synced up in real time. But anyways, uh, that's it for this video. It's not that complicated, but really cool. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe, share with other friends, and get them playing multiplayer.